Hey guys, let's take a quick look at how we can get started using the model editor. So I've got a room open here, and as you guys may know, everything in rooms is editable. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the edit mode, and I'm gonna click on this plant over here in the corner, and we see the properties down at the bottom down here. I'm gonna click on this little cube, and that's gonna launch the model editor. And now we can see the plant open in the model editor, and we have access to a few different tools down here. The first one is add, and I can actually zoom in on this by just kind of zooming in with two fingers there. I can also pan around, and I can rotate around with a single finger here around the plant. So I'm just gonna zoom in on this a little bit, and I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the plant here. And you can see I can add in, let's say little berries or flowers onto this plant. And after I've added something to this, if I wanna undo it, down here in the bottom right, you can see I can undo or I can also redo to add those back. However, if you wanna delete something, you can just click on the remove block over here and I can actually click on these just by tapping. And that will remove some of those. Again, I can undo that if I want to. We also have the paint tool over here. We have a few different paint options. I'm just gonna select the box one here. Let's go ahead and select a yellow color and I'm just gonna change the color of one of these. Make that yellow. And then with the paint option selected there, I can also click on the fill option down here and I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna select the purple color and let's go ahead and change the color of the pot down here. And you can see we made that purple. And once we've kind of made our changes to this, if I wanna save this up in the top right corner, I can just click on the green check, save that out. And now we can see that's reflected in our room. Now let's say you wanna create your own thing from scratch. Down here in the bottom left, you'll see the little plus icon and that will open up the things library. And you can see all sorts of creations here from other rooms users, but we wanna click on this little plus icon in the top right. And that's gonna ask us if we wanna create a new thing from scratch. Go ahead and say yes. Let's create a little gaming handheld from scratch. I'm gonna select this gray color down here and we're gonna have the add tool selected. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. What I'm actually gonna do is touch and hold. You know, here a little prompt and we can drag to create a volume. So I'm just gonna drag this over and out and let go and you can see we've placed down a volume and then we can use the extrude tool here and I can actually just tap on top of this and you'll see that'll lift that up a level and I can do that again and I'll continue to raise that up. I can also just click and hold and then just drag up to create a volume upwards and then go ahead and let go. Now we've kind of created a nice gaming handheld to start out with here. I'm just gonna rotate around this using one finger. Let's go ahead and select the paint tool and I'm just gonna use the box tool here Let's select this light green color. And I'm just gonna click and hold again and I can drag down to create a box shape. And let's go ahead and paint on here a little directional pad. So I'm just gonna select the dark color there and just tap on to create a little directional pad onto this. And let's go ahead and select red and add in a couple of buttons. And then we can rotate to the back side of this and we can also kind of paint on a little game cartridge. I'm just gonna click and hold again and just drag across and let go. And now we've kind of created our little simple game handheld in here. Go ahead and go ahead and click the green checkbox at the top right to save this out. And now we can see that in the middle of our room. We can zoom in on that a little bit and we can rotate it around. And you can see down here at the bottom, we have the properties for that. So I can go ahead and click on that and I can change the name of this easily if I want to. I'll just name this game handheld. And if I want to as well, we also have this new scale option down here and you can adjust the size of this if you want to a little bit more if you need that flexibility, so you can make it really big if you want to. And it's really just that simple. And that's how easy it is to get started using the model editor in Rooms. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel to find even more tutorials like this one.